Hello and welcome back to another episode of Kyle's Garage. On this one, we are going to be tearing apart the 2.3 liter turbo Ford engine that we have that on the last episode you saw me put on an engine stand. But uh, yeah, it, to be completely honest, it's been a really, really long time since I've pulled an engine apart of really any kind, especially an automobile engine, and uh, I've never pulled apart a 2.3 liter, so it's going to be a bit of a, a learning thing, but most of these engines kind of come apart and go together somewhat the same way so I have a pretty good idea of what's about to happen but it's a lot of little parts on this one and I'm just going to jump straight into the nitty gritty. Turn on the time lapse and let's go. first thing after I changed the oil I noticed that uh, something isn't quite right here this tensioner is not uh, not functioning the way it should be functioning the way they would have it set up it's just way too loose I don't know who they are but uh, they didn't know what's going on or something because normally you're supposed to be able to back this this way this whole tensioner would loosen up but I can only go this way with it. So something is not set up correctly. Guess I'll have to figure that out later on down the road.
All right, guys, that'll do it for today's episode. Got the engine all pulled apart. It was really pretty simple. It all pulled apart pretty easy. Didn't fight me any step of the way necessarily. Not anything that's out of the ordinary. Uh, an impact gun. That is a huge help when you're pulling apart any kind of old rusted anything. Uh, I was also surprised to find that this engine had roller rockers in it, which was really cool, and a Garrett turbo from the factory. So I thought that was kind of neat. However, this is a Franken engine, so I'm not really sure where all these parts came from and how they ended up on this engine, but I got to do some research. There was not a lot of uh, clear telltale signs of uh, what's going on here. Like, I don't know what kind of pistons they are, nothing like that yet. I got to do a lot of research. But the good sign is nothing was broken. I mean, it looked like all the rods, the rod bearings and everything, uh, you can usually tell if they're like discolored, that they've gotten hot. Everything looks good on the bottom end. The, even the cylinder walls still have uh, cross hatching marks in them. So I don't know what's going on here, guys, but I gotta do some research and I will keep you guys updated. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed that little tear down of the engine and I think that'll do it. Take care guys and I'll see you next time.